right, Lala in the building. All right, what's going on, little lady? <laughs> Nothing much. All right, all right. Nothing so, much. so before we get started, again, thank you very much for uh, chopping it up with me. Um, before we get started, go ahead and uh, introduce yourself and let everybody know where you hail from and what you used to do before you got into trucking. Um, I am Lashella. I'm 30 years old. Um, I'm an owner operator. By by the way, um, you, you by, by, by the way, you you don't look 30. I'm I'm just going to throw that out there. You 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 don't look. Oh, 30. thank you. Yeah, I'll go be, ahead. I'll be 31 next month. <laughs> okay, that's um, what's up. I did a little everything. I'm a tech of all trades, so I, it's a bunch of stuff that I was in before I did trucking. Oh, okay. Um, I know how to lay grass. I got my medical assistant. Um, mm -hmm. I used to clean metal production. Um, a main, facility maintenance. Okay, where where are you from? I'm from Colorado, but I stay in Florida. Okay, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, so all the all all the jack of all trades is a is a far cry away from trucking. What what made you what made you get interested in trucking? Um, honestly, I was just searching, looking for jobs, and trucking just stuck out. Like I was just looking like you know for jobs, and I seen an ad about trucking. And, you know, I was already tired of working for people, and I don't really like working around people because, you know, that he say, she say. So I was like, if I could be my own space, why not? I'm, I like trying different stuff, and I just happened to love this. It worked with me. All right. So before, you know, before we get into a little bit more, you know, I found you on TikTok. And I, you know, <laughs> with the explosion of this app, man, I mean – a lot of female truckers just just came from out of the woodwork, man. I mean, it's like, where have you guys came from? I mean, TikTok just opened up the door for all of you guys, and that's where I came to uh, find you at. Um, what made you choose, you know, to to you know to put content on? Uh -huh. What what made you choose to put content? on TikTok versus any other uh, social media platforms that's out there, like YouTube? Um, It's on, it's on my Facebook, too, but um, I don't really know how to do it. There's a speed trap now, ahead. So that's why I really haven't really done that yet. But um, since I'm already on TikTok, you know, I have I already have a lot of people asking me on TikTok, like, you know, they want to push on trucking and stuff. So I was like, you know what, let me just go ahead and do part so they understand, like, you know, give information out because everybody, most people in trucking, like, once they get information, they want they, they want you to pay for it. You don't have to pay for it. Like, you know, information. He was saying about um not paying for information and what, you know. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, most I'm, people want you to pay for, like, the information that I give. Like, it, it's really literally people, like, when people ask them, oh, you know, I, like, I, like, they want you to pay them. I'm like... Some information should be given freely, like, you know, get, let people know what they're about to get because most people want to get in the truck in just because of the money and they're not thinking about nothing else. Well, what is, let, let, me, let, me you, it, let me ask you, let me ask you this. If you, and, and I'm, I, you know, I'm surprised that you mentioned this because a lot of people that claims that, you know, that they're giving information and they need to pay for it is because, you know, some of the people that been in this game for, you know, a hot minute, used to give out their information for free via YouTube back in the day, you know, before, you know, before this millennial trucking thing, you know, before all, you know, before all the millennials came out. I mean, back in the day, you know, like in the late 90s, early 2000s, there was a lot of YouTubers that was, that was, you know, that was giving the game away and what they, you know, in the, in their mind was for free. But when, there was people that was just coming out, kept asking them and asking them and asking them and asking them. And, you know, I guess they kind of like got tired. Like, look, man, I got videos upon videos upon videos about the same questions that you're asking. So now when you come and ask me a question, you, you're going to have to, 
you know, pay me for my time. Now, I know there's a, you know, there's a two way, you know, there's a two way blade on that. You know, one way is that they charge him for their time. And that's kind of understandable. But then on the flip side of that, like you said before, you got some people that's coming in here that's really taking advantage. All right. That's the sciatic blade side. And then you got like up at the top, you know how you got the little double, you know, so you can gut something. You got you got that type of blade right there when, you know, where where people legitimately, you know, want to come out and legitimately get some good answers. But they but they're not getting the good answers. You know, somebody could come and ask you like, well, how to do this and how to do that. You know, somebody will come back and answer it. And it's just not feasible by way of day answer. Mm -hmm. Yep, and that's why I wouldn't pay for it because, of course, you're in check and they're not, and, you know, you're going to have different people act like they don't know that you got videos, so when people come ask you whether they find you off of, you know, social media or if they see you in person, oh, oh, buddy, drive a truck, maybe, you know, people stop, like, people stop me. And when they see me, oh, you got a truck, you know, how you get into it? Or people see me online when I post my truck, like, you're going to have people ask you because they're, they're not in the field. They just want to know. So, like, in that sense, you can't get mad because people constantly come at you and ask you for information because, you know, they just want to get put on. Like, so don't get me wrong. There are some people that, you know, ask, you know, like guys, guys, guys wise and females wise, they're only asking because they want to talk to the trucker, you know, they only see a trucker. But that's where you have to be smart in because you can tell by the conversation. But when people are really interested and, you know, they want to know, like, I think you should just, just talk to them or, you know, or just be like, you know, hey, I got content up. You could go look at this and this, get them your content and do it that way. But I don't mind, like, you know, helping people and telling people and putting people on because it's not going, like, it ain't, it's not, it's not, gonna hurt. it's not, I'm not losing nothing out of it. Mm -hmm. But so, a lot of people, a lot of people do want to learn, like, you know, do, do trucking. So I just think, like, certain information, like, should be free, like, then at the same time, like, when you give out information, like, I had a lot of guys, you know, try to give me information, but their information was, like you said, don't be feasible. It's not for me. That's why I tell everybody, your experience is your own experience. Get it? Because what I went through, you might not go through, so I'm going to give you my experience, but make sure y'all just look up and research the companies that I want to work for. All right. Now, let me okay. ask you this. Now, was that... Uh, was that something that you ran into uh, before getting into tr uh, getting into trucking? You ran into uh, a few uh, a few I want to say social media trucking gurus. You you ran into a few of those that was that was like, look, pay me and then I'll tell you type deal. Yeah, after after like you know joining different groups on you know Facebook, like the same information that I was getting. Like I and the, and the thing is with that. I had strangers getting, getting like, they seen that I was doing trucking. Like, it's one guy right now, like, last year got in my inbox, started giving me information. Hey, go get your done in Bradstreet. Go get this. And I have another guy get in my inbox. Hey, for 150 um, so you got your LLC. Like, this the free information, like, you got your EIN. Hey, like, if you don't, give me I'll give me 150 and I'll help you get all this. That stuff is free. I don't, I'm not going to give you no 150 for that. When I got somebody in my inbox that's, that's willing, like, and I didn't ask for it. Then, you know, I have the guys that come and, oh, well, you don't need to be a trucker. You know, you're, oh, you're trying to be in a woman's, a man's world. Like, it just, I got discouragement, like, after, I, not discouragement, but I got, you know, negative, negative stuff from more of the black guys when I got in trucking, mm. especially in these trucking groups, just by posting positive stuff. Like, I posted, you know, how people look at their own, you know, I don't have it, but, you know, how people go get their own authority and stuff like this. I don't post something negative. And you know it just it was just backlash, like backlash after backlash. Mm, and you so say how this, you gonna do this when you don't know what's what's you know if you don't got it how you gonna post it? But and you I'm say go through them to get my authority. And you say this oh, came ahead. and you say this the backlash for this came from the black uh, truckers community, huh? Yeah. Wow. The black bitter guys. Wow. Because I got my license. In October twenty on the twenty fourth of eighteen, but I stopped in January because I got pregnant. So literally, my driving experience would be two years in December of this year, and I started my business in December. And everybody was like, "Oh well, you don't need to start your business early. You don't need to try to be an owner operator." 
and you know they'll try to tell you, oh, well, you gotta worry about the expenses. You gotta worry like. Once you do your research, you'll know what works for you. And lease purchase works best for me because I'm not putting no money in and I ain't losing no money. So, all right. So, with with that said, man, and that's and and that's kind of crazy that you know only a handful of 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 truckers out there that's trying that will try to be positive with you, but you, but I'd say maybe about seventy five percent because you're a female driver, right? Mm-hmm. Now, th- now let me ask you this. What's that? This is this this is considered a, ma- a male dominated uh uh type job. But would you mm-hmm. consider but would you consider law enforcement? Would you consider the military male dominated as well? I mean I would because they say like that, but everything should be equal. Like All right, I but hold hold, hold up before you answer. Now you already you you okay. ask you you answer the part you say yeah so you think you 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 feel that male uh that that uh that law enforcement and military is male dominated right yeah like, so you know, why why don't like- why 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 don't why don't the males in that field feel some some kind of way when a female comes in it. You don't hear you they, you, oh, you don't hear do. you well I mean you don't they hear do. they do but you don't hear it as much as you hear it in trucking though. You see what I'm saying? But you don't hear that you don't hear it as much because that's more on the politics side and they try to keep stuff discreet like they have ways of you know hiding the people especially if it's favoritism. Mm. Cuz my sister's in the military and you know it's stuff that's been done to her like well you know and you know you know I see a lot of documents documentary um Documentaries on one stuff like that, you know, how a lot of women don't want to, like, be in it because, you know, stuff, they get harassed, you know, they got to go through the um, the hazing phase or whatever they call it. Like, you know, women have to deal with that, like, because, you know, men feel like, you know, oh, this is their field and stuff like that, which it shouldn't be like that. But, you know, in this field, you're not going to get what happens in that field because, you know, it's serious stuff that happened to women in that field more than it would in trucking. I'm not saying that it can't happen in trucking, but the serious side, you know, is what happens. So that's so like it's a lot of stuff, you know, people could keep people mouth shut more on that side than being trucking. Mm, okay, okay. So you got your license uh what, back in eighteen? Mm-hmm. October twenty fourth. All right. And you uh you took uh you took a little bit of time off to have your uh to have your baby. Congratulations. So your baby is what? Like Thank three you. your your baby what? Three two two, two years old? Mm-hmm. All right, all right. Uh how did your family how, how did how did your family feel when you first told them that you was uh going out the truck? <laughs> it was it was difficult because at the time I was married, so you know, it was difficult because, like, at that at that time, I was just like, I was like, you know, I was bored, so I was like, cool, you know what? You know, I paid half for it, and I was like, cool, I'm just go do me. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, finding out I was pregnant, so that kind of put a pause. Like, after I got it, it put a pause on things, but, you know, um... I still went through the divorce afterwards, and I left my four. Like once my daughter was four months, I left. Like, you know, to better me. Okay, that's what's up. Now you got your license via uh, sponsored trucking, and you went to CRST. <laughs> yeah, they pay. They pay for the schooling and every and all. Uh, but you, Everything. but you but, ran, yeah. but you ran into <laughs> some problems with CRST though. Um, what yeah, first, first the, before, uh, mm. first before you get into that, uh, out of all the trucking, why did you choose CRST to go and get your to get your license through them? Um, they honestly, that was the first company that when I was just researching, like when I first was like I didn't care where I went, and I seen that they was in, I was already I was in Jacksonville, so. So I wouldn't have to go nowhere else. That's the that's the main reason why I chose them. But um, at the time, I didn't know they were teens. Mm-hmm. When I, you know, I told them I was like, I wanted to do trucking and you know sign up. They didn't mention that. They didn't mention that till afterwards. 
All right, so you so you chose CRST. Um, you called them up, say, "Hey, I'm you know I'm I'm, I'm I want to get my license. You guys can help me." Yada yada yada. What was the conversation between you and the recruiter to get you in there? If you can no, remember. No, I can't remember. I don't, I don't remember word by word. But the only thing, the main thing that got me was, hey, we got training in Jacksonville, Florida, um, at this school called JTEC. You can start um, next week. Um, do, I, do we need to set you up for a house for, um, you know, housing or whatever? I was like, yeah, or mm-hmm. So that's what, that's what got me. All right, and so, I was still able to see my kids and be in the same city. So Jacksonville, uh, that's that's where you at right now. So you 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 know that that's a plus. So I'm going to give you a plus on that. You found a you found a place that's in the area. So if there was any problems, you wouldn't have had an issue of you know getting back home or whatever because you was already in your home state. So that's a so that's a plus. So I'm going to give you a plus on that one. Um, so. You're you're in the school. Did they tell you, like right off the rip, how long it was going to be? Like, if is it going to be three weeks? Is it going to be a week? How, it took me four weeks, but it took me two. It took me two months because I took, mm-hmm. we didn't we didn't have like proper training. Like they cared more about like getting students in and worrying about like as soon as they get a, a student in. Like, they get paid for, like, each recruiter get paid for how many students they get in. So, they was getting so many students in that we wasn't able to get the training that we needed. So, like, it's about 20 of us Mm -hmm. and just one class. Then you got to worry about people coming in Wednesday, then the next Monday. And it's like, okay, well, how are we supposed to get the training that that we need? Like, we'll probably get, like, one time, but then they split it up to where it's like, now y'all got to start night school because now y'all got a problem because y'all got too many people. Wow. So they, 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 they were still they bringing in about the money. They were still bringing in people versus people that's already there, which was messing up y'all, y'all training. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yep. Okay. Okay. So instead of, so instead of a couple of weeks of training, they now, now they rushing you guys. That's where the bad, that's where the bad training yeah. coming into place. Yep, we start rushing us. Like I, like they let me stay because, like, if people like that been there around the same time I was, and if they fail once, they sent them home. But I'm like, like what the heck? like what? Y'all not even training people right? So you know they had an issue with that. But I failed. Passed everything else first try. The only thing I failed was the alley dot because that's the only thing I didn't understand because of how we didn't have, like, much time doing that position and stuff like that. So I'm like, mm-hmm. like, the, my first time testing, I didn't even do alley dot, so I didn't even know how to do it. And that they still wanted me to go test. And I told them I didn't know how to do it. They like, oh, well, just do your best. <laughs> and I'm like, how you want me to do my best when I ain't, when I ain't even test or practice? So They, they just like, threw you out to the try, world. You're right, and I, I finally was like, well, you got, like, my third time when I when I failed it, they was like, oh, you got one more try. If you don't pass it, you, you work it out. And I'm like, man, I need this, like, like y'all not, you know, doing what I need to do. But I had so much teams I got cool with, you know, they did their best to help me. Mm-hmm. So, and what the, the examiner, he was real cool because he, you know, like, he seen, like, my drive, like, I really wanted. Like, I, to, pa- I passed my fourth time, yeah. So you was able to get so you was able to get out of there four times was the charm. Congratulations. That's what's up. <laughs> now, now Thanks. you're, now you're on, uh, as, as a driver, uh, as, as a student driver, as they say, with CRST, you, uh, you, 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 you was, uh, you was up on the, you was up on the, up on the cut. They got you in. Now, what happened when you got in, when you actually started <laughs> noticing some things? Um, when I got in, you know, I got my, I got my trainer. Um, I think that's the worst experience I've ever had with somebody. And that made me not want to do teams because um, she didn't really train me right. She just she just sat in the front seat and let me drive. Like Female? luckily, you know, I knew. Yeah, she was like a dyke, whatever. Um, my only my issue was like we in the cold, so 
she got out like I think man, she stayed she stayed maybe like the first three days in the front, then you know, when it was my time to drive, you know, she'll go back in the back after my three days was up. Mm-hmm. And what I noticed that the windshield was cracking, she did want me to report it, but it was like, you know, once you're in cold, it's going to keep cracking, and that's right. what it was doing. And, like, her clutch was missing, like, it was missing gears and stuff like that. So I'm like, I went ahead and reported it because I'm like, I can't drive like this. And I don't want that glass to keep going, and, it, it you know, it finally just shattered. So once I did that, the guy told me, he was like, how long um y'all been driving, and who truck is this? I went, this is her truck. So he was like, if y'all would have kept going, he's like, y'all, um, you, you know, the truck would have probably blew up. He like, um, it probably would have been a day, but it probably would have been like, you know, the next week or two because her oil, her fuel, and her coolant was mixing. And he said that's not a good combination. Wait, and I'm like, so, I didn't even know. That, so her, I didn't even know that truck, could happen. Her truck wasn't being PM'd. That's what this sounds I, like. She was taking. She wasn't taking care of it. She was just riding, I guess. So I was like, and they fired her. Like, they fired her. I was. I found out a little later. Wow. So she wasn't even. She wasn't even taking care of the truck. Now you said switching. You you said um, you mentioned gears. So you 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 proficient oh, yeah, her in clutch. The, so you proficient in uh oh, yeah. in, in the stick. Yeah, I could drive a stick. Oh, uh, and that's what you trained out of in the stick. Mm-hmm. What you mean to tell me this this comp this this uh school slash company taught y'all in a in a manual? Oh my god! So you don't have your you don't have your restrictions. <laughs> no, I don't have no restrictions. That's what's up, man. What what are you driving now? Automatic. Uh, damn it, man. <laughs> 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 oh, you said, you said auto. You said automatic with the smoothness too. You was like automatic. <laughs> Man, I'm good with the. I'm I'm good with the clutch. <laughs> but um, back to uh, back to uh, so so um, so you, so did what? I mean, they they fired her before or after you left. Or before or nah, after they, you got they, with somebody they else. They fired her while they they fired her during the process of they had to put me in the hotel. I had to wait a couple of days for a tra- another trainer. Okay. So I guess during that process, you know, by her being on the operator through them, um, and now yeah, she was like she was at least purchased. Mm-hmm. So she um they she was like, oh y'all didn't pay for my room, and they t- they tried to tell her they're like we'll pay for this one night, but. We're not paying for your room because you're on the operator. And she, you know, having a big fit about that. Well, y'all should, like, you know, pay for it. But um, during that process, they fired her because she wasn't taking care of her truck. Wow. And they they called me was like, because they were trying to blame it on me. They was like, well, why you didn't report? I said, first of all, she told me, because I, I just gave it to him because I was already, you know, kind of like feeling type of way because I had to be out for, like, a couple of days not driving. Mm-hmm. I'm like, no, she told me. Not um report anything when I tried to, and I said, you know what? I said since we're on the subject, I cannot. I need another trainer anyway because I cannot deal with her smell. I can't deal with her personality. I can't deal with nothing that goes on in this truck because she wanted us to drive without not taking any showers. Mm. Like she just wanted us to keep going. And I said, I'm not. I'm not with this. Uh, and like, is is she uh black? Caucasian, black. She whoa, wait. A what? black, a black stud. Wait, and, and she thought she was a man. Oh, hold up, hold up. Without showers, she'll go three. She'll we, go three we, days. We talking but about like, well, we, we we talking about black female stud. You know, sh- you know. Shout out to the alphabet mm-hmm. community. Shout out to y'all. But yeah, uh, shout out. Yeah, but. Yo, you a female, and and you 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 over here trying to you you over here trying to rock out and not get no at least a fucking at least for females, you know, you you guys like mm-hmm. y'all hygiene, y'all always one hundred with the hygiene. Yeah, 
She she didn't even and do. Her writing was. She didn't even negative, do no like a negative. A, she ain't do no. no. She ain't do no adult wipes, no baby wipes, no nothing. No nothing, and she already had a smell to her when she you know when her muscle came on, like when she went to the bathroom in the truck, baby. That the that I don't know the truck. She smell that bad. What, <laughs> I can imagine you up yeah. in the. I, I can imagine you up in the front seat going like, "Girl, my nose ready to fall. My nose is ready to fall off." <laughs> <laughs> I bet you like, yo, what the fuck? Can you I, like? I can't do this. Yo, did you tell her to I use? You, you had to. You had to at least tell her to use some fucking Lysol or some shit like that, right? Oh, I ain't have to. I ain't have to ask her. I have my own stuff spraying me. I no. Nah. Oh, hey, 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 right. hey, when you, no. hey, when you hit it off, did she say something? She had to say something when you broke it off. You had to, I'm, no, oh, she, she, me. and she, and she didn't no. spray nothing on her own though. Like, you know, I'm finished using no. the bathroom. Mm -mm. Wow. No right. respect. She, she told me what's up. She told me, what's up? She like, when we got in the truck, she told me, she like, hey, listen, we got, I got a bathroom in the truck if you need to go because, you know, I don't stop. I don't like stopping, you know, and which I understood, like, because in Iowa, when you, like, and I like, because I, even though she said all that, I still got out of the truck till, like, I had to go at night and, like, I barely missed it. Like, as soon as I got in my truck, mm -hmm. all I seen was a big little animal fly across. I was like, what the hell is the ocean? Like, oh, it's coy coyotes and foxes out here. I said, what the? Okay. I said, oh, I'm not getting out the truck no more. <laughs> okay. I said, okay, so I understood. So, so I understood her on that, but I'm like, mm -mm. You say you understood the assignment. <laughs> <laughs> so I understand why you don't get out of certain places. Now I understand. Okay, cool. You ain't got to tell me twice. But, 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 did, but she didn't, but the smell was just unbearable man listen it was i don't know how to say that but i i it was more than unbearable like that smell was just like it would have made me quit wow like i i probably like i probably would have told me like it was getting to that point but l luckily they, they told us they was, we were going to a terminal because i was ready just to like you know what you can have this truck i'm out <laughs> So they got you in, an, like, they got you in with another trainer to finish out. How how did that go? Oh, yeah. oh. Um, he was a nice. I believe he was a patient or whatever. He he was nice, you know. He cooked and all that stuff, you know. He was a little cleaner, but he just had drama. He had like you know wifey drama. Mm. And I was like, and I had to hear about it every day. You know, you know my wife. Blah, 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 blah. Then it got real bad because we actually stopped working because he stopped. We had a load that was due, and he stopped because he got a call saying, you know, his wife is posting pictures in Jamaica, but his one of his kids at school, his two-year-old was left at home by himself, and another one was at a name. Where, where did the and wife I go? Like, I said, Jamaica with a whole other dude. What? What? And left her kids. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Where where was you where was you guys at when, when this information came through? I, I don't know, but I know we were in some state. We were far away. We was in some state. What where what, what was the state that his kids was left in? Uh Florida. Wow. <laughs> wow. So he had so fact, he, yeah, so he had to, so he 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 just told you like, look, we 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 I'm I'm about to drop you off where where in Iowa. Yeah, by the conversation, I knew things were bad. We stopped at a truck stop, and I'm like, okay, we got this load, dude. Like, why are we not moving? Right. Um, and he got back in truck, like you know, he started going off about his drama and what he had going on, what his wife's doing and stuff like this. And he's like, well, okay. oh, what would you do? And I'm like. Wait, 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 wait. That's not my situation. It ain't no. It ain't no. What can I do? Wait, 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 wait. Did 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 you guys drop the load or did y'all take the load? Yeah, we eventually. We yeah, we know we took it. It was late, but we took it. Okay, so and I was like, now you know so, I'm just so, ready to finish. So now he's. But I told him I said. No, I'm oh, I'm 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 trying to figure out I'm I'm trying to figure out where he at now. Y'all y'all dropped the load. So is he on his way? 
back oh, no. to Florida to get no. with his kids? Like, to get his kids Mm-mm. and shit? But I made, I made sure I was on my way to Florida.